guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. We are here with a 3.2 back date today, but uh, there's more going on with this car than first comes to the eye. So let's go take a closer look. Yeah, hi, my name's Ken. This is my 1988 back date 911 Carrera. Interesting car, this one. It's sort of designed and presented as per the 1971 Le Mans movie starring Steve McQueen, where he actually drove a 911 very much the same as this through the streets of Le Mans and this has been built to pretty much replicate that car other than the fact this is a, a later model car with a wider rear um, than the, the one in the 1971 movie but other than that it's pretty much a, a replica of that car. So I've seen this car float around and we've been meaning to kind of catch up for a little while about this car because I was unsure of the base where the car had come from and how things kind of happened with the car. So originally, so it's a 3.2? It's a 3.2, originally out of the US. So it was a cab imported into Western Australia out of the US. A cab was a it? Cab. Oh! So it's been converted to right-hand drive and had a lid put on it. And well, I didn't know that. There you go. And further, further sort of body work and and um, development was done by Skunk Works over in Colac. Yep. Ronan and his, his team over there. Did you import it? No, or you... I didn't import it. Okay. So I only had the car since April last year. I've got the original papers, the Rego papers from WA, and it was brought over to Victoria some years ago and had a, a range of work done on it over a period of time. The engine is a Euro spec engine, so it's the the 10.3 high compression yep. engine. I'm not sure if it's the original gearbox. It's a G50 box, but not sure if it's the original box. We do love a G50 box it's after good. the yeah. <laughs> one five issues. Yeah, which is good. <laughs> um, yeah, but other than that, it's it's pretty original. Other than the obviously the bodywork, the guards, the long hood, and the and the, and the back date um, bits. And yeah, have been I, done I had no idea that it was actually cabriolet left hand drive, and then it's gone through the. Com I would have never never guessed and it's, in a it's, million years. It's been really, really well done. It's, you know, people look at it and go, wow, it's been, yeah. it's been done, done very well. Yeah, that had not even occurred to me. Fill cap's been removed from the guard. Delete. Delete, yep. Yeah. Uh, the centre fill. And then now it's in fill. the centre. Yeah, to give it that sort of throwback to that era. Yeah, because you can't, well, I guess it's just had a lid put on it. Yep. Sunroof, well. Cab delete, and then therefore no sunroof. Yeah. The colour is. So it's slate grey. Slate grey. Which I believe is a is an original, original colour. Yep. Genuine colour. Yes. Um, the gold always looks nice for the slate grey yeah, as well. Yep. And again, the the interior colour, the trim, again to replicate that that Steve McQueen car back in the, the Le Mans movie. Yeah. Which is, I think it's quite a cool combination. It's a, it's, it's a classic sort of combination and a little bit understated, but it's, I think it's, it's a cool, it's a cool, uh, cool color. Yeah, cause you kind of look at the car and I know, you, yeah, you say it's understated, but whenever we've seen it at a cars and coffee event, it stands out. Like it is a, it is a showstopper and we've been meaning to catch up for a, a little bit on this but it, it definitely color of the interior and how it matches with the slate gray do look fantastic on the car so guards have been widened at the rear uh, no they're the standard 88 guards ah okay so that's and standard. i guess it just looks a little bit different because of the back date yes yes so true to the period it'll be the narrower the narrower body yeah but being an 88 it's that's the wider body yeah um but the rest of it the guards hood all the other mods take it back to that sort of late 60s, early 70s period. Yeah. And the matte kind of finish on the wheels is very nice as well. Got the right height right, a bit of spacer on the spacing on the rears, just to yep. get them sitting in the guards nicely. A little and bit more. I think it sits, it sits about right. And, yeah, it does, And yeah. handles well, handles really well. Yeah, because otherwise they normally just sit in just that little bit too far, yeah, don't Yeah, it's they? just tucked in a little bit much, so it's just, just sitting in nicely. So, you know, it's, I think overall it, it, it suits the car pretty well. So we've hopped into the interior before we, we are going to take the car for a spin today and I'm really looking forward to that. The red interior is cracking and goes all the way through into the back there. A mixture of the black and the red. Look at that. That's a nice place to be. So, um, shifter. 
Yeah, Wevo shifter. So it's the G50 box, Wevo shifter. The rest of the drive lines stock. Suspension's all stock. Torsion bars are standard. Yeah, so it hasn't been played with too much. I mean, it could do do a lot more to it, but it's pretty pretty original. So again, the engine stock, single plug. Of obviously other than the carbies. So it's got the um, the Weber 46 IDAs. So yep. the early IDA carbies. They're a bit fiddly to tune and a bit temperamental, but once you get them right, they're pretty good. Do you suffer temperature variations at all or? A little bit. A little bit. A little yeah. bit. But they're set pretty right now and it runs, it runs nicely. Plenty of power. It's probably making 230, maybe a little bit more than 230. Yeah, it is something I have considered doing, but then I have to put up with the Carby's on the 356 and I, yeah. I've kind of enjoyed not having to do that on a 911, but it does, it makes the engine bay light. And the, and the sound, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. The carbies, the induction down, it just, it's um, that sound. The yeah. carbies sound is, it's, it gets you in. Because modified exhaust, it looks like. Yeah, it's got SSIs with the modified exhaust. So oh, it's, SSIs. So it's, it's good. It's, it's comfortable. They've also been on my shopping list lately. <laughs> I've been looking online. I've been like, do I need to get those? I think yeah. I probably do, but yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a nice touch. Oh, I'm going to look for it because we're down on the morning to Peninsula. I've had a nice drive in the 930 today. The weather's absolutely fantastic in Melbourne. And then we're going to get to go out in this. I'm actually really looking forward to that. So we were going to start it up, but we're actually going to look under the bonnet first and hold the suspense <laughs> of listening to that engine. So pretty, pretty standard. Standard as a but really yeah. clean. Yeah. That's done really nicely. Well, I think we won't hold the suspense anymore. We need, do need to start that up, and I think we're going to hit the road and go for a spin. I'm genuinely looking forward to this. That This car is a lot more than I originally thought it was. got to drive it it was a bit of a different configuration than what it is now it had a ducktail and a few yeah, okay. quite the same and I'm Denard and looked at it had an opportunity to do something then but didn't didn't engage in it and sort of forgot about it thought I will come back and keep looking and yeah and then about six nine months later I saw a car come up and I thought that looks vaguely familiar but it was a little bit different had an opportunity to buy it and got on to Anthony that owned the car and said, right, what's happening? And at that point, uh, he said, look, the car's been sold. I said, oh, great, that's, uh, that's un disappointing, but... That's twice now. Uh, yeah, he, but he said, look, the guy that's buying it, it's going to be subject to finance, and uh, we'll see how that goes, and I'll give him a week and see what happens. And as it turned out, he rang me a week later and said, the guy's still organising his finance. I think I'll need to get things moving. And he said, sure, it's yours if you want it still. So There we go. There we go. So the stars aligned and it was meant to be. And this has warmed up a little bit now. It's we had a little up. bit of popping and cracking earlier. It probably takes about 10, 10 minutes to really get warmed up. Yeah. It's definitely got a tone with the ITVs and the carbs, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. So as per the back date, there's no mirror on the left, just the bullet mirror on the right. Oh, uh, yeah. To keep it in the theme of the of the back day. Yeah. It sounds great. That shifter shifts really nicely That's right. as well. Yeah, well the G50 box, they're a little bit more user friendly, yeah, I think, than are, the 915s yeah. and the, the Wevo just gives it a little bit more positive. No wonder when you drove this the first time, <laughs> you were like, I need to yeah. keep a bit of an eye out for that Absolutely. car, because it sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, having driven and owned a number of water cool later models, it's a very different feel in the air cool, but there's something about it that gets you in and yeah, because we followed you when we did the GT drive where I was nearly uh, unwell. <laughs> 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 we followed you on that drive. Because you're lava orange GT3 RS. Yes, that's it. And this is a very different world to that. But yeah. But very engaging and in a lot of ways a lot more appealing, I think, you know? Yeah, because you'd be... It's a very different kind of driving. Flipping through the gears yeah. and then this you're like, well, yeah. I've got 10 minutes to warm yeah, up. Yeah. And just the feedback you get, it's just full analog, going from full driver assist, traction control, power brakes, power steer, everything to no traction, no power steer. Because you said no it's brakes. got um, stock suspension. Stock suspension, yeah. 
but it must have been really well it's been I guess refurbished because the way you move the steering wheel and the way the car actually moved yeah it's it's direct yeah well the bushes were all done front end bushes yeah it's got turbo tie rods uh, uh, so the few okay. things brought up to date yeah um, just prior to me purchasing the car yeah so not your standard suspension setup yeah. this is Tight. A little bit tweaked. I like, noticed it's cause, very tight. Yeah, because when you came in here and you went, I was like, oh, that's not it's, stopped. It's, There's yeah, something. Yep. That that's had something done. So to a it. couple of things done. Just yeah, to, yeah you know, I could tell straight away. New brake lines. Just a few things that needed tidying up. But the responsiveness on the car is it's yeah, it's, it's a different, a little bit different drive. It's good. Yeah, because it's definitely got it at the low end, and we've got a car in front of us, but yeah. you can. So you tap it and you yeah, like and it you ride off. up so you got to ease off a bit quick. Yeah, it just it's got plenty of pull from yeah, low. Yeah, it has. Fairly, fairly good progressively. And I'd imagine a reasonably big job to put a lid back on. Because it sounds Absolutely. easy, but mm. to make it look straight and yeah, perfect yeah. and, and for people to not even notice, yeah. that's it's a hell of a well job done. that is. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, nowadays converting a 911 from left-hand drive to right-hand drive. Is a, is a big job, mm. expensive job. Yeah, it's just vintage, isn't it? It's got that, it's got that note. But even at this speed, like we're stuck behind a truck here, or a car here, like it still idles well and drives. Yeah. You said your wife drives this all the time. Yeah, Lisa hops in and drives yeah. it, she loves it. It's a race for the keys. <laughs> <laughs> Although we talked about earlier, the fenders are the original fenders, so they, it's all steel. So they're steel fenders, yep. Yeah, but the bonnets, currently, at yep, the moment, yep. glass. Glass bonnet, correct, yeah. But there's a project yeah. in progress yes. to revert that to a steel, a steel one. Yeah. So try and get the car as authentic as possible. With. Yeah. And lucky as well, because the guys who painted the car, Skunk Works, have still got leftover still got paint, paint. That's correct. Yep. to so do that's the bonnet. Good. So the there's no paint. colour matching, uh -huh. no nothing. It's just same paint, yep. just on a different panel. Yep. Turn up, swap it over, that's carry it. on. That's it. So that'll be good. The worst part of going for a drive is when you're turning around, you've got to go back home, and you go, oh, I'm going to put it back in the garage now, i to be driving it. And you know, it is, it's just, it's It's tight. direct. It's, oh, yeah. it's very good. It's very good. Because I notice all the quirks. Because every every car is that little bit different. Yeah. And even with mine, like my SC would be a little bit like this, a little bit higher temp. Yes. And it would open up a little bit more. The 930 needs that little bit more before yes. it really starts to yeah. Yeah, open to up work. and the yeah. oil really starts to and fly a little free, bit more. Freeze up and yeah. Slowly. And then I've been in some people's cars, and even at a slightly lower temperature than this, they're like, nah, the car's happy. All oh, right. I'm like, they're just. Each one has yeah, its yeah, little quirk. Personality, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's part of the appeal, I think. The fact that they've got this personality and yeah. you, get, you get to know it. I've got to get better at my blipping as well. My blip is horrendous. Yeah. It's just, I think it's just practice. It is, it? It's yeah. Sometimes you wouldn't call it a blip. No. It'd be just an over ref. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the heel tape thing takes a lot of practice. Yeah, and I haven't that's quite not, got it. That's not easy. But when you get them right, it's very satisfying. Yeah. To have the feel on the brake pressure, so you're braking at the right rate, but also have the control yeah. to blip the throttle without upsetting your brake pressure. That yeah. takes a little bit of practice. Yeah, I need to get better at that. Okay. And I guess if you're if you're converting a Cabriolet to a coupe, and you're doing the left-hand drive to right -hand conversion. You've spent some money, so you're not gonna yeah. then shortcut on the rest of it, which yeah. appears like yeah. they've picked the right bits to spend the money on. They've done yeah. some bits to the engine, yeah. the suspension kept it stock, but done some extra bits. It's nice. Yeah, it's yeah, it's been well well done. Yeah, they've kind of put the money spent in the, right the money. Spots. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And I know back days can be somewhat polarizing yes. sometimes. Yes. You know, some people can be like, oh I've seen it before, or yeah. oh um you know, somebody's done that again. Yeah. But you look for one for sale, mm, very different and they're gone like that. It. They're gone in the blink of an eye. Which is why very jumped, rarely yeah, do they yeah. come yeah. up. Which is why I jumped on this, and then yeah, you know, unsurprisingly, it had already been sold. Yeah, uh, sold pending. But to take on the project to do the back date, so to get an eighty-eight or a eighty-seven onward G fifty car, and then turn it into this to spend that money and go through that process. It's a big job. It's a, it's a big job. Yeah. yeah. 
and there's Imagine not finding yeah. a roof is relatively yeah. difficult to do. Yeah. yeah. And not a lot of shops around. Not yeah, a lot of mean, shops around that are good at doing it either. There's, yeah. there's not a lot. They have to do quite a lot of work on a cabriolet to keep it still stiff. Yes. But like when it comes from the factory, yes, it still has to be... Because there's no lid, it's yeah. got, to, it got, to be, got to be stiff. And then imagine then, when you do put a lid on, but if you've got all that stiffness from a cabriolet... Yes, it's really stiff. Yeah. I wonder if that's a thing. Mm, I was going to talk to Rowan about that at Scutworks and say, so what's the deal structurally? What, you know, obviously, you know, the chassis and the way that's designed with no lid has to have something more than just a, a normal coupe. Yeah, because they're a heavier car normally. Mm. So and you, and you can definitely feel it. Like if you swap from a coupe to a Targ to a yeah. convertible, yeah. you, you can feel, feel the difference. weight difference from a coupe. Yeah. The coupe's a lot lighter car. Yes. And I know probably there'll be somebody going, well, technically what that is, and I might look that up and put that in the video. But I wonder if that then makes a lot of difference to how this car feels. Mm. Structurally, it's tight because it was a Cabriolet. Yes. But then... But there's a bit of weight penalty trucks as well. Yeah, but you don't, you don't remove that structural integrity and then, and then you stick a roof on and then it's even tighter mm. again maybe that's the, the, maybe on balance it's a good thing you know yeah i wonder what uh, yeah i wonder what that might be all about yeah. i might have just made all of that up it sounds <laughs> you know, I'd be, my mind works the same way i'd be thinking exactly the same i might have made all that up but you never know that might be a thing okay. no. <laughs> Thanks, Ken, for this. This car had more going about it than I thought. So we, we've been messaged on Instagram a couple of times about we should cover this car. I had no idea it was a Cabriolet and what had gone on. Didn't know about the carbs. Brilliant weather, brilliant day, and a brilliant day out in this. So thanks very much. Thanks, Please give guys. the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more coming. Stay tuned. See you later, guys. Bye.